now that we have a little better understanding about the trainers and coaches, it's important to understand that God's emphasis is and has always been the saints. That's you and I. The church model places the emphasis on the clergy, that is the coaches and trainers, and relegates the rest of us to the sidelines. But this has never been King Jesus' model or plan. In fact, the terms clergy and laity do not exist in the Bible. Well, where did they come from? They are made up religious terms that come from Catholicism. Now, when I say it's all about the saints, I mean that our king is and has always been primarily concerned with the growth, maturation, and perfection of the saints, his body. I know the church model made you think that God only cared about the spiritual leaders and that the rest of us were just bystanders, just standing on the sidelines. But that is just one example why the church model is so wrong and was never established by Jesus. Let's take a look at it in the scripture. Ephesians 4, 11 through 13. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds, and teachers to equip the saints for the work of the ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Notice that the apostles, prophets, evangelists, shepherds, and teachers have one purpose, that is to equip the saints. So spiritual leaders, the coaches and trainers, are not an end to themselves. Rather, they are here to serve the saints. They are to be servants. Of course, in the church model, this is completely flipped on its head as many spiritual leaders prefer to have people serving them and putting them up on a pedestal with their entourages and extravagant lifestyles. But in the ecclesia, spiritual leaders are servants who discharge their service with all humility. In fact, humility is one of the essential signs of any true spiritual leader. So if you don't see the fruit of humility in their lives, run. Don't walk away from them. Run. Next, notice that it is not the spiritual leaders who do the work of the ministry, but rather the saints. Under the church model, we have thought that the spiritual leaders carried out the work of the ministry every Sunday. But in actuality, the work of the ministry does not occur on Sundays. In actuality, the work of the ministry occurs on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But what is the work of the ministry? The work of the ministry is advancing the kingdom of heaven and its agenda and bringing it into every sphere of society and culture through the sphere of your influence. You see, God wants you to have influence in the areas of culture and society that you have been called to. Perhaps you are a stay-at-home mom. You have influence over your children and even their friends. As they go to school and you get involved, you will have influence at the school and with other moms and families. You see, King Jesus wants you to be equipped and matured in the things of the kingdom so that you can use your influence that you have to reach other people. As you do this, you become heaven's representative on earth and the government of heaven will not only equip you but will also completely back you up you see this partnership between heaven and the ecclesia is essential because god can't get anything done on earth without people 
But you say, he's God. He can do anything. Well, theoretically, that's true. But God has limited himself. He has given jurisdiction of the earth to men and women. Therefore, in order to get anything done in the earth, you must have a body. This rule limits the spiritual activity in the earth. So in order for Satan's agenda to come to pass, he must have willing participants. Likewise, heaven can't get anything accomplished in the earth without your cooperation and without my cooperation. Now, if you think logically and strategically about this, let's say that one-tenth of the body of Christ are spiritual leaders. Would you have more success reaching the masses of people with the message of the kingdom by using the 10% or the 90%? Well, obviously the 90%. This is why King Jesus' plan has always been for the saints to do the work of the ministry and advance the kingdom of heaven in the earth. That means that heaven wants to partner with you. Mm -hmm.